stick with Tyler over here. Mm -hmm. Ninety-five nine KCKO. Good morning to you, East Texas. I'm John, and we got the the gentleman from Caldwell Banker. How are you guys doing today? Doing fine, John. How are you today? Doing great. All right. So uh, I'm trying to hop over here. Oh, there we go. That would probably, <laughs> probably help if I turn on the right headphones. So what do you guys got to talk about today? Well, uh, this morning, good morning, City Creek Lake. It's been another wonderful week here in East Texas. Uh, this combination of beautiful weather lately and interest rates starting to creep up has had buyers out in droves searching for that perfect home. If you're still looking, be sure to call our office anytime at 903-887-7055. Have one of our wonderful agents assist you in this process. But with that being said, we've... Spent several weeks on this show talking about the buying process. If you've missed any of these, be sure and go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure and catch up on any of those that you might have missed. But um, today we want to switch gears and speak to you about um, those who are thinking about getting their home on the market. Uh, spring has always been my favorite time of year, and it's a time for new beginnings. It's also a time to present your home in its best light. And there are many things happening that can make your home appear really special and a few that can be detractors from that perfect picture. And so when people arrive at your home, studies show that more than half of their decision is made on the drive up and the path to the front door. And remember that this is your last chance to make a great first impression. So that is why today we want to talk about a few tips on curb appeal. Yeah, um, that, that curb appeal, that's, that is 100% accurate. Your last chance to make that, that first impression. So. First off with curb appeal, what a lot of people avoid talking in the curb appeal, the curb itself. So uh, what do you got for tips and tricks for us out there on getting that curb shined up a bit? Well, you know, uh, one of the best things uh, that we were talking about on the way over here is a lot of times when you're out looking for a property, you've got your home on the market, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that your uh, buyers and your realtors are able to locate your property. Yeah. They don't want to spend half their day just trying to find where it is that they're trying to go. Yeah. Um, your, your realtor will typically have their sign in the yard, but there may also be other signs, maybe even by that same realtor on the same street. So you want to be sure that you have nice, clean, new, big, bright l numbers for your house number on your actual house so they can tell they are at the actual house they are trying to go to. Um, also on your mailbox, um, shine up the mailbox, get some new numbers, get the street put on there. Um, one thing we offer um, with a lot of our, our customers, our clients, um, if your mailbox is looking a, a little bit um, aged and forlorn, uh, come talk to us. You know, if, if you're putting your house on the market with us and you need a new mailbox, uh, we, can, we can doll it up with the numbers and the lettering and the street name and everything so we can be sure somebody's at, at your property when they're trying to find it. Yeah, that really helps to get it sold when you can actually get them to the location there. Yeah, so um, also with that, uh, shining up that curb, that concrete, uh, that driveway, um, it's also a good time to try to get that power washed, scrubbed down. Um, that bright concrete just helps bring that car with that buyer into that driveway. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be stepping over them big piles of leaves left over from fall mm -hmm. or your grass clippings, things like that. And you also, you've got your house presentable and ready and clean for everybody to come inside. Mm -hmm. You don't want them tracking any of this in there, messing it up a little bit. No, leave the, leave the mess outside. Preferably outside somewhere else other than your property. You know, get it off the driveway. Um, take advantage of those things that you can do, the sweat equity that you can recoup, um, also the, co the cost effective, the budget friendly things first. Um, getting a broom, getting those, um, those leaves swept up, getting the, mo getting the lawn mowed, a little bit of edging. Um, what about flowers uh, and flower beds? How does, how does that really help with, with properties there, Brett? Yeah, not, not only just having, it's kind of an extension of your yard, these flower beds. And one thing people do when they're walking up is, um, a little bit of bright colored flowers mm -hmm. or even mulch. Yeah. It's, it's surprising the, the eye attention that's drawn to these things and can help draw them to your house and give it a, you know, really good, present it in a really good light. Mm -hmm. right. And then as that uh, cleaned up concrete and lawn and those bright flowers are catching that attention and bringing that buyer into your house, uh, what about actually getting into the house? Uh, have, you, have you ever had any issues with that? Um, what would you have, 
have for us today on that? Yeah, and like we mentioned earlier, you know, a lot of the decision making on the buying of the house is this approach mm -hmm. and uh, getting from the car past the curb to the front door. And one of the things you're going to encounter is the realtor is going to have to stop for a few seconds to get that key in the door, get it opened up. Mm -hmm. And so people are going to be looking around at that time, uh, looking for, you know, you want to make sure all them cobwebs are swept down. Maybe if you need a little caulking or paint around the door, yeah. this is a good time to take care of that because their eyes are going to be drifting a little bit while, mm -hmm. while they're getting the door open. But, but you don't want to give them a half an hour to enjoy uh, your door treatments there no. while the realtor's trying to get that door lock open. One thing we've encountered before sometimes is I know that your house, you've lived there for 20 years, yeah. and you know that if you jiggle that key three times to the left and up and down, push on the doorknob, you can get in the house just fine. <laughs> Flawlessly every time. Mm -hmm. I, I've been there, do it, do it six times a day. But sometimes I may have never been to your home before mm -hmm. and, and not remember the exact code of door jiggles to be yeah. able to get in. And um, for a few bucks at the local hardware store here, uh, the replacement of a good functioning doorknob makes all the difference in the world because besides a little bit of marketing and mm -hmm. like we said, our curb appeal, being able to access a home is a big, an important matter when it comes to the buying process. Yeah, we're out there every day uh, trying to see everything that comes on the market that we can reasonably get inside of. And it's rather surprising how many homes that uh, we go to, to take a look at, to show a buyer, and we never can get anybody into the house. The doorknob just will not turn, or sometimes all it does is turn and spin, <laughs> or those deadbolts you can't get a key to undo that deadbolt um, for nothing. And so after a while of trying and trying to, you know, get somebody there with a key, it doesn't always happen and you just have to move on. Mm -hmm. If you can't get the person in the house, uh, everything you've done in there and trying to sell it, uh, you know, it, it's kind of a wash that day. So I'd say if your doorknob and that, that front deadbolt are not working absolutely flawlessly, Consider not just a little bit of WD-40, but consider replacing that whole whole doorknob because you want people to go in that house seamlessly. You mm -hmm. don't want to leave anybody sitting on the front porch while they're trying to see your house to buy it. Correct. I mean, location, 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 mm -hmm. but access is the most important part of that, finally yeah. getting that home sold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we found also if you've got a second second door to come into, if you've got the keys for that, Give the realtor both sets of keys, get it in that lock box. So in the event that one door doesn't open, you have a high probability of another one getting them into that house. Mm -hmm. And another thing we've noticed that goes along with the doors is, is your windows. Mm -hmm. um, not only do you want them to be clean from the outside, but once you get people into the house, you want to make sure that they're able to look back out a nice clean window mm -hmm. to be able to see all this wonderful yard work you've done to be able to get that light into the home Mm -hmm. And yeah, especially on these waterfront houses, if you've got um, if you've got those windows on that lake side, people want to see that lake. So be sure they're clean, they're they're sparkly, they're they're good to see that wonderful lake and the fun to be had this summer. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we've noticed when you're outside in your yard, also be sure and look up. Sometimes mm -hmm. we just get out of the car and we walk straight towards our door so we can get inside and watch our favorite TV show. Mm -hmm. But take a few minutes to look up at your roof and give it just a visual inspection. This is something most of your homeowners, another thing they can do that's very low cost is just give it a good look. Are there missing shingles, flashing, mm -hmm. maybe especially if you have a fireplace, mm -hmm. look around there because some of these older homes with this wood siding around the fireplace, this is a good spot uh, that just uh, if you've got a little rod or anything mm -hmm. going up there, that you could, with the replacement of a couple of boards, a little paint, mm -hmm. most homeowners could do a little bit of painting on the outside and it really does brighten up the home. Yeah, and uh, don't be afraid to give a roofing contractor a call and let them get up there and give their professional opinion. And there may be some things that they can do um, short of replacing the entire roof. You may not even need a whole new roof, but there may just be a few things, you know, that storm came through, not that that limb down and it damaged that shingle tab. You have that little bit of flashing. Squirrels have been up there chewing on chewing on some things. And there's a few simple things that can be done to um, to help that house really really go far on the market today. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what properties do you have today for people, Brad? Well, first off, we've got one over here in Eustis at one three eight one eight County Road twenty eight fifty seven, and this is East Texas country living. 
just south of downtown Eustis there. It's a large three bedroom, two bath brick home that can welcome guests into their receiving room before adjourning to the formal dining area. The open concept kitchen and living area gives plenty of room for the family to eat and at the breakfast bar or recline in front of the fireplace. Breakfast Nook overlooks the in-ground pool in the backyard, which is deep enough for a slide or diving board, and covered front and back porches provide a relaxing place to sit and look out over this beautiful 22-and-a-half-acre estate. And you can get all this for only 225000 today. That's a good That's a good price in today's market. That's that's priced good. It's priced fair, uh, ready to sell. That's one worth taking a look at. Mm -hmm. What else you got? Uh, we got a, a commercial property. If you're looking for an investment opportunity, over here at 2425 West Main in Gun Barrel City. That's just west of Legendary Lane over there. Yeah, that's uh, right between Legendary and the bridge going to Seven Points mm -hmm. there, correct? Correct. And this is just after the sought-after Gun Barrel City uh, Highway that runs right through town, 334. Mm -hmm. It has uh, a lot of road frontage. It's got three shops up front and a large warehouse out back that could be split into three additional bays, making this for a good cash flow opportunity. Mm. And you can get all that for only 250000 today. Yeah, if you're looking to get into, into investments in real estate, uh, we can help you out with the residential, but also getting into commercial opportunities and, and helping you see what you can do with that. So mm -hmm. that's a good one to take a look at. What do you got next? Um, another commercial opportunity right there in town. Two large lots that comprise almost an acre and a half right east of East Texas Medical Center over there, right by where they just put in the new equipment rental facility mm -hmm. and just west of where they're building the new Elder Dodge over there. Mm. So this is going to make it a prime location mm -hmm. for only 44000 over here. 44000 for that's both lots together. Both lots and a full acre and a half. Uh, you know, could be a future doctor office or mm -hmm. good, good prime uh, location for any type of commercial business there. Yeah, if you wanted to get that medical office, law office, or you wanted to to play off of the um, the rentals, or even off of um, if you were in the car business or, of some type and wanted to work in conjunction somehow, um, they're near the new Elder Dodge going in. That'd be a great place. What you got next? Uh, lastly, today this is one. You're going to want to call in. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Two homes two on homes. two waterfront lots mm -hmm. with a greenhouse and a garden shed. Good water over here. And this is all that together. All this together for only 64500 That's two homes on two waterfront lots with a greenhouse and a garden shed. For sixty four thousand five hundred, and that's waterfront on Cedar Creek Lake. That's not you know um, a little kind of pond back there, but that's that's actually waterfront on Cedar Creek Lake for right. sixty four thousand five hundred. Full time waterfront, not just when it rains hard. Not just when it rains hard. It's full time waterfront. Yeah, if you want to find out some more details on that one, give our wonderful agents over at Coldwell Banker a call at nine zero three eight eight seven seven zero five five, and they'll be willing to help you out a little bit more on that one. Yeah, just tell them about that at 903-887-7055. They'll be able to give you more details about that, get you the full information sheet on it, um, even help you get set up on a showing or your finance and whatever you need to, to get into that property. So um, if they're wanting to get a hold of you today, Brett, how do they get a hold of you? As always, you can get a hold of me at 903 Three four zero six three zero one, and I'm shy at nine zero three three four zero six one five nine. And give us a call today. We can help you get that property on the market. Um, also, go a little bit more in depth about getting that property ready uh, to come on the market. And um, yeah, this is a great time. So uh, if you're wanting to if you're wanting to sell or buy, give us a call. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having us today, John. No problem. No problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get right back into some more great uh, country music and pretty soon after the trading post, so stick around for that.